Friends, Danny here for Love From Lizzie. This is the June 2018 10 Cards 1 Kit video. So starting with card 1, I'm using the stamp set that came in the kit. I am using the girl face image to start with. I'm stamping that out on the white cardstock that was in the kit. I am using Memento Tuxedo Black and an acrylic block. Just inking that up, stamping it down. using a nice even pressure. Now I'm just working out what hair I'm going to do. Sorry for the big head in the way. You need to be directly above it to try and make sure that it's in exactly the right position. So I've just inked it up again using the Memento Tuxedo Black. This girl actually reminded me of myself so I decided to make it look like me. I always have my hair up in a bun if I haven't straightened it. Um, and I also wear glasses so I'm going to pop glasses on her face. Um, the necklace, which I thought was quite funny, I have pretty much the same necklace as well. So, popping on the glasses. And lastly, I'm just adding the earrings, so I have just accidentally knocked it off screen there. And using my Copic markers to colour the image up, I did use Memento Tuxedo Black, so it is Copic safe. I'm using E000, E00, E21, E11, E04 and R20 for the cheeks. So I've just sped this up a little bit. I'm sure that you guys don't want to sit there and watch me fiddling with the Copics all the way through. Sped it up to double, I think. So just working my way through all the colors. So normally when I'm using Copic markers, depending on how big the area is, I normally put a layer of the lightest colour down first and then I go darkest to lightest. Just working my way through, almost done. Just blending all the skin colours in together and blending those cheeks now into her face. Having my markers um, at making her necklace gold. So I'm using um, YR24 and YR27 for that. And I'm using R81, R83, and I think I did R85 on her top. I'm a pink girl, always got pink on. So I'm just doing very basic shadowing on this image, so I've just gone around her shoulders. Obviously you don't have enough of the shirt to um, to worry about it too much, so it may not to be to the exacts, but it was fine for this image. Just straightening that up and blending all those colours out. And now we will move on to her hair. I'm using colors did I use? I think I did E24, E27 and E29 on her hair. This time because it was such small areas that I was coloring I just went straight to the darkest marker and went darkest to lightest. Just working my way through, always forgetting to look up to make sure that I'm in the camera. Um, and I've done her eyes brown as well, just like mine, and her earrings to match the necklace. So I'm just trying to find a sentiment to add to go with the image. So I just inked that up again, just um, popped it onto my acrylic block. And used Memento Tuxedo Black. I'm now using a Spellbinders die to cut her out. Just run it through my Sizzix Big Shot. And I ran through the sentiment just using one of the smaller of the same die set. Now I'm just trying to work out what I'm going to do. I've just decided to add one of the heart stickers from the sticker sheet. Smoothing it down. Just having a look through to see what else I could add. Now as um, 
my followers would know um, I am a square cards girl so I have quite a few of these square card bases made up next to my desk so that's what I'm using today. Now I'm just using the next size up of those Spellbinders dies. That's what I'm, I'm thinking that I'm doing anyway. I haven't quite decided at this stage here. So I did, I decided to, I ran that through my Sizzix Big Shot in the background here. So you can't see that happening. It would shake my desk too much if I was doing that. And I was thinking about adding a shadow piece onto the sentiment as well, but I decided not to go with that. So I'm just working out, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner there, just trying to work out what I'm going to do. What I decided to do um, to save myself a little bit of cardstock was I decided to use two of the dies and make a frame so that when I ran it through my Sizzix Big Shot, it would give me just the... I suppose the shadow of the one that I've used for the image um, and also give me the centerpiece to use on another card. So there it is there. Just trying to work out my layout. I was thinking about still adding the frame in. I thought it would look cool, but I decided not to. Um, I decided to grab some of the pattern papers. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just using the uh, button pattern paper. Just trying to work out my layer, make sure that I was happy with it. Still playing around with wanting to use that. Sorry for the interruption there, guys. Just um, restarting my voice over here. So I am just adhering all of the pattern paper. Trying to work out what I'm going to do. Just adhering everything down with my Scotch ATG gun. Making sure I add plenty of tape on. I'm not worried about the bleeding through the back of the paper. You know, I'm not going to see that any of that anyway. Adding my sentiment. Just trying to make sure that it was nice and straight. Popping that down. And because um, there was no back to that frame, it is actually sticking to my desk. But that's okay because I just gently pulled it up. Now I'm adding some more Scotch ATG gun to the back. And then I will pop that onto the card base. So that's card one just about done. Just adhering everything down, making sure it's nice and straight. There you go. Now working on card number two. So here I have used one of the cutter parts from one of the uh, large pattern paper sheets that was in the kit. Um, I decided that I really love this image and I didn't want to do too much to it. So all I have done is I've added um, it to my card base. Just trying to work out what else I could add to her here. So I'm playing with a few of the sentiments, the stamp set, sorry, to see what else I could do. I decided to stamp one of the sentiments down on the bottom left hand corner. And once again, I always have this problem where I forget to look up to make sure that I am still in the view of my camera. I've got to start doing that. Sorry. So just using that Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I am using the Crafty Girl sentiment down in that corner. Now I'm just um, measuring up some of that grey cardstock that was in the kit. I'm just working out the right layering of what I wanted here. Popping that down with some Scotch ATG. And then again for the card, for the base to go onto the card. Always check to make sure that my card is the right way around. I have a habit of sticking it down and then realizing that my card was around the wrong way. Happens to me all the time. Just adding a little um, white Signo Uniball gel pen onto her glasses just to give her a little bit of bling. And I'm now adding some Wink of Stella Clear to her ribbon on her hair. Obviously you can't see that in the video but it looks amazing on the card trying to show you but it's just it's not showing up very well that was card two now working on card three a 
I wasn't quite sure what I was doing here. I was kind of playing off screen because I hadn't decided. Um, but what I end up doing is stamping the happiness looks gorgeous on you sentiment down on that bottom right hand corner. Because I really wanted to use those large um, create the word that's on the left hand side of the page. So I've just carefully cut that off just to make sure that I didn't cut those letters at all because I did want to use them on another card. So I'm just inking that up with Memento Tuxedo Black. I will eventually realise that my camera is completely... It's not even my camera, it's just me. Me, me, me. Uh, just going through the ribbons, trying to, I wanted to use some of these ribbons, but they were so pretty, I just, I didn't know what to do with them. And I'm not normally a ribbons on a card girl. I used to be, I have quite a, uh, a large <coughs> collection. My husband would probably say it's a little bit, a little bit larger than large, but you know. When I think about it, I do use them on a card, but I just, it's not me anymore. They do look gorgeous on cards. I just, I like collecting things. And I'm also using one of the little crochet flowers on the top left hand corner. And I wanted to use one of the, um, the chipboard, well they're not really chipboard, those thick cardstock, um, the little girl heads. I wanted to use one of those on this card as well. So that's what I'm playing with here. Just trying to work out what I'm doing and I decided to add a brad into the middle of those flowers. <gasps> Can you guys remember those? I used to use them on every single card I did. Now again I have a collection of those too. So now I'm just adding some Scotch ATG to the back. Popping that down on my card just making sure that it is straight and centered. Plenty of ATG. I just used some scotch tape on the back of the flower just to make sure that Brad didn't go through. And now we're working on card number four. So I decided to use another two of those thick cardboard um, heads. And I really wanted to use this crafty word. But you guys will see that I played with it quite a lot. For me, it just, I wanted to use it, but I just, whatever I looked at doing, it just wasn't working for me. So I just kept playing and playing and playing with it. Eventually I got there. That's what happens sometimes. Sometimes you need to walk, walk away from a card. Um, I have a habit of stressing myself out because I can't get a card done because I keep playing with it and it's just not working. So this is also about the stage where I realised that these were actually a sticker when I pulled that crafty word off. So take note, these are actually stickers. They're just very, very thick stickers. So I also wanted to use one of these little um, bows on my card. So again, just playing with it, trying to get it to work. I really wanted to put it on the end of that crafty word, but it was just, just a little bit too big. So that wasn't going to happen. So I do play around with it a little bit on this card, um, but eventually it finds its little place. I also wanted to use some of these little diamante hearts that are in the kit. So I'm adding one of those to the left-hand girl's ribbon and I'm going to add one to the right hand goal as well. Just making sure that they are straight. Again, they are um, sticky back as well, which is fantastic. Now this, if you guys remember from the last card or the card before, was just that center piece that I didn't end up using. So I wanted to use it on this card, but again, this is another one of those things that I kept playing with. I really wanted to use it on this one, um, so I'm just playing around with the layout of the little girls, trying to work out what I was going to do. Trying to slide it all behind that sticky crafty word because it was already stuck to my page. Um, I could have carefully pulled it up, but just the top of it I tried not to touch it too much because it hadn't actually fallen down as yet. I'd only really pushed it on the bottom. So I'm using some of the um, peel-offs. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just 
when you do a diet, a cut from a dye, it normally just leaves that inner um, indent, um, which is the actual inside of the dye. So what I did was I actually used that as my guide um, and I've just layered the pull-offs within that. So at this stage, I just did the top and the two sides, but then I end up moving the crafty word around and having to do the bottom as well. And I'm just using a pen knife. Please be careful, these are very, very sharp. I am a danger to myself sometimes. I didn't cut myself this time, but I have previously. So please be careful and don't leave them around for little children. Because if your children are like my children, it doesn't matter how many times you tell them to stay out of the craft room, you still find them in there. So here I am playing with those little heads, trying to work out where I'm going to make it work. So as you can see there, I was actually able to pull that crafty word up very carefully. It didn't leave any marks or anything, which was great. So I'm just now pulling off the backing of these little girls because they are stickers, which means I didn't have to stick them down. Just trying to work out my layering here. That's where I kind of realized that if I was going to have them down that low, that I was going to have to add some more of that peel off to the bottom. So that's what I'm doing now. So very carefully doing all of that without cutting my fingers, of course. And I really love the way that this turned out. I was quite happy with it. So fantastic. It's always great when you love a card when you finish doing it. I still wanted to try and add some ribbon onto this card. So I'm playing with what, that lavender with the hearts on it. Um, using my pen knife probably wasn't <laughs> the best of ideas, but that's what was on my desk at the moment. So that's what I decided to go with. So I'm just adhering it. I just carefully ran a little bit of Scotch ATG just on the center that I knew was going to be covered. And then I'll wrap it around the back of my card and um, adhere it to the back. So I was still playing with these ribbons. I had them all on my desk and I knew I wanted to use as many as I could. So now I'm using this one here. I'm gonna layer it over the top of the hearts. Again, just using a little bit of Scotch ATG to adhere that down. So carefully putting that down, making sure that it's nice and straight, wrapping it around the back. One of those hearts, the one that's on the right hand side, I end up cutting off. As you can see, it's just poking out from the back of the card. So I did use my pen knife and carefully cut that one off. Now I decided to use the little bow after all. I'm just popping a little bit of mon um, uh, Tombow Mono Multi. And I just laid my, um, my ATG gun on there for a little while until it was dry. Adhering everything down onto the base. This is where I just cut that little heart off because it was bugging me. And I decided that I wanted to use some of that dark blue metallic cardstock still wasn't happy with it so I'm working my way through I ended up going back to the gray cardstock that I used on a previous card and the card still felt like it needed a little something extra so I will be adding some of the new tonic nouveau drops that were in the kit which is an absolutely gorgeous color and it fit my card perfectly Adhering all that down, and that was card number four. Just now putting those drops on. Now, please be very, very careful. I also have a habit of touching these once I put them down, so make sure you put it completely out of the way because I still touch them. It doesn't matter where I put them. Card number five. This um, patterned paper sheet, I absolutely adore. I didn't want to cut it up. So I was trying to use every single little piece that I could um, just to get the most out of it. So once again, I've just grabbed one of my white card bases. I have um, cut a small piece of the patterned paper to add to the center of my card. 
and then this imagined word was one of the pieces that had actually been cut off. So what I decided to do was use it um, to my advantage and use it and pop it up onto my card. So I'm just playing with a few of the stickers just to see what I can add on to my card. Now this is what I had in mind with this um, image, imagine sentiment, um, but it was blending into my card too much. So I've grabbed one of the pencils from the sticker sheet. Decided to banner the end of the sentiment. So I just used my pen knife again just because that's what was sitting on my desk at the time. But of course I still can't manage to cut straight. So I'm just fixing that up. And it was still blending in too much so then I decided to um, grab my foam tape. But I didn't quite get that far. I then noticed the green cardstock sitting next to me and decided to use some of that um, and cut like a shadow to the sentiment. So I'm just doing that on my Caterpillar Pro off screen here. And I'm just recutting that banner just with a little bit of a shadow. And now it should pop off my card a little bit better. So I'm going to add some of the foam tape. Yes, that's me sneaking chocolate in the middle of my card making. You can craft without eating chocolate, really. It makes the brain function. <laughs> So now I'm going through my sticker sheet again, trying to see what else I could add onto my card, but there was nothing there that I could add. So I'm just um, cutting some of that foam tape to add behind the sentiment. This is just some of the Express It foam mounting tape. And then just a little bit on the end so that it will pop up and not collapse in the center. So I'm just going to add that onto my card and look at that, a little bit of um, plain coloured cardstock and now it pops up off my card. So I'm just using um, that Mon Tombow Mono Multi liquid adhesive just because it was sitting right in front of me to adhere the pattern paper. And that's that one. So now we are moving on, are we moving on or am I still going to play? Still trying to work that out. Then I decided I noticed that I still had some of those little heart blings left, so I'm just going to add some of those onto this card just to finish it off. Still having a play just the sticker because it was um, up on that foam piece it just needed a little bit more sticky so I've just added some more of that um, Tombow Mono Multi to the ends so that it could pull down. Now we're starting on card number six. So I still have some of this gorgeous pattern paper on my desk so I decided to use that one first. So I've cut a piece of the um, plain pattern paper. Yes that's me stealing chocolate again. All right, now I'm just trying to work out what am I going to do with this card? Playing around, playing around. Then I've pulled out those cardstock stickers. I really, really wanted to use this sewing machine. It's absolutely gorgeous. It, it reminded me of one of my friends. One of my girlfriends has just started making uh, little girls' clothes, um, and she does a fantastic job. Some of this stuff that she does is absolutely amazing. Um, she's got three little girls herself, so she does a lot of clothes for those. Um, but she also does sell just a little bit. She's just starting to sell. So I thought this was a really cute card and reminded me of her. So I'm just playing with a few things that are on my desk, trying to work out what else I can do to this card. I didn't want to cover up that paper too much because it was just, it was gorgeous. I just, I didn't know what to do. So I started, I added this sticker with the, um, create beauty and I added it to the sewing machine. It's still sitting there now but I ended up pulling it off because I hated it. The more I looked at it, the more I hated it. So I'm trying to play with some of the other pattern papers to see what else I could do. Playing, playing. Now I decided to use on the side of that one of those pet and papers that I um, cut up earlier there was the word so so I decided to um, cut that up and use it to pop up off my card 
So I'm just bannering the side of it and now I've got to work out what I'm going to do with it. I've thought about just popping it up over the top of the one that was already on there. I grabbed a thanks die that I had sitting on my desk and I wanted to do the sentiment thanks so much. But do you think I could find the word much in any of my stamp sets? No, of course not. So I'm now trying to rethink that, trying to work out what I'm going to do. I'm playing with one of the stickers from the sticker sheet. Playing around, playing around. At this stage, I'm still playing around with it. I'm still not happy, but I don't want to cover up that beautiful paper in the background. So I'm trying to work out how I'm going to do that. How am I going to make it work that I don't use too much of that gorgeous paper? So I'm cutting bits and pieces. I'm moving things around over and over and over again. I'm trying to break it up with some of the blue. And then I worked out what I was doing. So I turned that paper over and this was that gorgeous rainbow paper. So I decided to cut the center of it out, flip it over and then insert it back in. So I'm still using that gorgeous pattern paper, but I've cut the center out and I'm using the reverse. I cut the word thanks from one of those plain colored cardstocks. It wasn't popping off my card enough. So I ended up cutting a black one as well and just slightly off centering it just so that it gave it just that little bit of shadow to pop it up off the card. So I'm over halfway guys, I'm sorry. These videos are very, very long when you've got to try and put 10 card making card makings into one video. So I'm just using my Tombow Mono Multi there to adhere that down. Just moving the sewing machine up slightly. How cute is this sewing machine? Like who wouldn't want to do sewing if you had a machine that looked like that? Not me. I'm not a sewer. I don't like sewing machines. I have a mum. She fixes everything. If something's breaking in my house, my kids just say, don't worry, mum, Nan will fix it. And Nan fixes it. And I'm very lucky that my daddy's the same. He's a Mr. Fix It as well. So he fixes the other things. We had some problems with um, our shower leaking the other day and he came over to try and fix it. But unfortunately, it wasn't something that he could fix. So we've had to call our real estate. Now I'm just using the Scotch ATG gun to add the adhesive to the back. And then I will pop that onto a white card base. And then I decided, no, it needed more. So I'm now popping it onto a piece of the lemon cardstock. And then I will then pop that onto the white card base. So we're almost onto card seven, guys. Almost done. Just rubbing off a little bit of adhesive that was on the side there. Straightening up my sew word. Decided to add a button Ooh. using the Nuvo drops to the front of the sewing machine. I'm just tapping it down to make sure that it came out domey. Now working on card number seven. I absolutely love the way this card turns out. Um, I really wanted to use this sentiment, but I was worried because as you can see, there's just a little bit of the, um, the outside on the left hand side there. So I'm trying to play with a few cardstock stickers and things to cover it up without it being too much and taking away from the sentiment. So I decided to use one of the pattern papers and keep it very simple, really. So I'm adding on some of these cardstock flower stickers, adhering that down to a white card base. And I think it, it just needed a, something else just to finish it. So I decided to cut some of the silver uh, mirror finish 
cardstock. And again, I didn't want to waste that either. So what I did was I ran a, through a couple of the sentiment dies that were on my desk through that I thought I might be able to use on other cards so that I'm not wasting that whole square of that. So that's what I'm doing here. Popping all of those out and then the outside's still there. That's all you're going to see on my card. So that's what I'm adhering to now. Using the Scotch ATG gun. And I ended up cutting just a slight amount off that patterned paper so I could see more of that mirrored cardstock. I cut the word you when I was doing all of those sentiment words. So my card's going to say you make the world beautiful, which I thought was quite sweet. So I'm just adhering that down with the Tombow Mono Multi. And that's card seven, almost done. Can you believe how quick that one was? Adhering it down using the Scotch ATG gun. And I'm just adding a little couple of little details with the white uniball pen. Now moving on to card number eight. So I really wanted to use this camera that was on the cutter parts, but I really did not like that stripy, I don't even know what it's called, that pattern that's around it. So I decided to use my pen knife and carefully, very, very carefully, cut the camera out. So that's what I'm doing here. Popping that out carefully. Just make sure that you go slow. If you go slow, the chances of you cutting yourself are very, very slim. Just working my way around carefully. All right. So now I wanted to use these, uh, the buttons, which was the reverse side of the paper that I cut the camera out of, um, but I needed to cover up that section, obviously, because I was upside down and I didn't want the camera back into that same section. So I'm just playing with a few things here that will allow me to cover up that section so that nobody else will know that I cut into this paper. So originally I wanted to use this Make Pretty Things cardstock sticker but it was just it was too big for my card and it just wasn't working for me but I absolutely love it and I will definitely use it on another project. So I'm just adding some of those stickers down to try and hide that hole on the right hand side there. And here in the camera down using Tombow Mono Multi just to a um, scallop rectangle die that I already had in my stash. And I am using the thanks word that I also cut from that mirrored cardstock on the previous card. And I wanted to um, bend it around. So I just carefully held on to all the letters and just um, gently moved them so that they, it would kind of curve. And I had my uh, photographer from my wedding in mind for this card. Um, we haven't we cannot thank this woman enough. She is a friend of ours, but she has been amazing. Our wedding photos are just gorgeous, and she's also done a wedding album for us, which is awesome. So just working my way through, trying to cover up that circle. I just kept trying a few different things, a different way of laying out what I was using. Decided to add a few of those banner sentiments that was on the sticker sheet and I just layered them one on top of another until it was covered up enough. I'm just adding some details onto the camera using my Uniball Signo White Angelic Gel Pen. I layered it onto a piece of the plain cardstock just to bring the colours out so that would make it stand out a little bit more. Hearing that down using the Scotch ATG gun. Popping that onto a white card base. Just making sure that my sentiment was down properly. And that is card eight, just about done. I still was thinking about adding another sentiment, but then I changed my mind. So now I'm working on card number nine. So starting off with the white card base. 
this is where I decided to use those create words that I was letters that I was talking about. So I just carefully used my uh, my pen knife to cut each of those letters out. I ended up using a black marker just to run around the outsides of them to make them look finished. It's very tedious cutting out each of these letters, but it was definitely worth it in the end. I did cut these out properly, by the way. I was just doing a rough, a rough job just to get them off the card, off the pattern paper. I'm just using my um, what are they? My cutter bee scissors because they're nice and sharp and they've got a nice point. Makes it a little bit easier when you're cutting things out. So I'm just working my way through each of those letters. I could have left it at eat, couldn't I? <laughs> I'm sure I could have thought of something funny to say to go with that one. And I wanted to use the hooray word die that I had cut out earlier, um, but I didn't end up using it. It didn't work for my card, so I had to cut something else. I'm just working my way through. This is where I had to cut out the, the new word. And when I flicked it down, then the dot of the kindness actually flicked across my desk and I couldn't find it. So I just had to rough cut one just from a piece that had popped out of the die. Just moving them all over to the patterned paper. I'm gearing them all down. I'm just using a the white angelic gel pen from Uniball Signo because I, when I was um, going around the outsides and adding the black ink to make them stand out a little bit, I did smudge some onto the top of that A letter, which you can see if you focus enough on it. But look, it looks great. Nobody else would know. It's just me pointing it out. Adhering everything using the Tombow Mono Multi. Popping all of that down. Making sure it's nice and straight. This is my little makeshift dot for the eye. Turned out gorgeous. Love it. Um, matting it onto a piece of the light blue cardstock that was in the kit. And then I'll pop all of that down using the Scotch ATG gun. Do you guys find your desk looks as messy as what mine does right now? It is an absolute disaster zone. Tomorrow I need to do a big clean up. It's honestly, it's disgusting. But that's the fun part of creating, right? Popping that down. Just rubbing all of all of that excess ATG gun tape. And now we're going on to card number 10. So you may have seen me playing with this piece a little bit earlier um, with the words on it. It was just a leftover piece, but I really wanted to use it. So I was also playing with using that um, sewing machine paper, but it didn't end up working with me for what I needed. I would have been happy with the card to look like that, to be honest. <laughs> Um, but I'm using some of the dark blue, that gorgeous dark blue cardstock that was in the kit. Um, I'm adding some more of the rainbow paper behind the sentiments, but I decided it was too clashy. So I grabbed a doily from my stash and I've just popped that in behind. And I'm just playing with what else I can do to finish this off. I just grabbed it just blah. I decided to grab the paint palette, um, the thick cardstock sticker from the kit and one of the pencils. And I'm just adhering everything down, 
don't forget these are stickers so just peel the backing off them same thing with the pencil now I'm just using the Tombow Mono Multi to adhere that doily sorry I ended up using my Scotch ATG so I'm just um, popping that patterned rainbow stripe paper down this will be my striped card for the challenge for this month our challenge is all about stripes so we'd love for you to join in with us um, grab yourself a kit they're absolutely gorgeous this month as they are every other month but this one is just perfect for all of us crafters so I'm just adding all this down oh there goes my ATG gun is empty so I'm going to grab my Tombow Mono Multi to finish that off. Adding the glue down, popping it onto the white card base. And that, guys, is card number 10. I hope you guys enjoyed my cards, and I will see you all soon. Bye.